Sage Act includes several integration capabilities that enable you to extend the functionality of the program by integrating it with local applications like Microsoft Outlook, web applications like Google Gmail, and web services such as Sage eMarketing or Sage Business Info Services for ACT. To take advantage of online services, you must first create a connected services account. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to sign up for a free trial and create a connected services account. Configuring integration and accessing connected services is done via the connections view. From the nav bar, click the connections button. The connections view supports signing up or learning more about any of these services. You can click either link to access that option for the specific connected service. Note, to set up and access Sage Connected Services for ACT, you must have an internet connection, your internet browser configured to accept cookies, an email address in your Sage ACT My Record, and a Sage Connected Services account. To actually create an account, on either the Sage Business Info Services for ACT or Sage eMarketing for ACT tiles, click the Sign Up Now link. You'll be presented with two options. You can either create a new Sage Connected Services account if you don't already have one, or sign in using a previously created Sage Connected Services, ACT eMarketing, or Swift Page account. For this example, you can create a new Sage Connected Services account and then click Next. On the Create an Account page, complete all required fields. The User ID field defaults to your name. You can keep this or enter a different account name. Additionally, you can use the Advanced Setup link to specify a custom account name and password. The account information is typically configured by the administrator or the first person configuring Sage Connected Services. This account name and password will be required anytime you need to add additional users to your service account or otherwise manage your connected service accounts. After you've completed all of the fields, click Next. When creating an account for Sage eMarketing, you'll need to accept the End User License Agreement, as well as Anti-Spam Policy Terms and Conditions. After accepting both, click Next. After you complete the Sign Up Wizard, you'll receive an email at the address that's entered on your My Record in Sage Act. This initial message requires your acknowledgement to complete signing up for the service. And once the service has been activated, you'll be able to access Sage Act eMarketing services from either the Connections view or the eMarketing toolbar icon from your contact or company detail views. Something specific to setting up Sage eMarketing for ACT is the addition of custom fields to your Sage Act database. Selecting Submit will create the additional fields in the Sage Act database and enable you to access tracking and marketing results data from within Sage Act. Once the fields have been added, you can begin using Sage eMarketing for ACT straight away. For now, click Close, and back in the Connections view, you'll notice the Sage eMarketing for ACT service tile is updated. New links include managing an existing account, contacting support, or opening the eMarketing panel. To manage accounts for either service, select the Manage Account link. In the Manage Your Connected Service Account panel, you can use the Account tab to purchase or upgrade your services, add new users to your account, or connect or disconnect Sage Act users from the service. On the Business Info tab, you can access the option to purchase or upgrade that specific service. And on the eMarketing tab, you can not only purchase or upgrade the service, but also configure various Sage eMarketing for ACT options, such as whether or not email sent through this service is saved to history, whether or not you want to use a secure or encrypted connection, and other options. As you have learned, setting up an account is pretty easy. After you've set up your account, you can begin using the selected service to increase your prospecting and marketing efforts. If you ever need to extend or alter your existing services, you can use the Manage Account link, select the appropriate tab, and sign up or modify the service. With Sage Connected Services, you'll be able to increase the impact of your Sage Act contact database 
by integrating it with external applications and even cloud services.